welcome to Easy Mind, Easy Life. So, continuing on from the previous video, we were talking about um, the angels or the beings from the other side, other dimension, wherever it is that they are, that are trying to communicate with you, why sometimes they don't come in. I mean, for a long time, even though I had an episode when I was about 25, where my guardian angel stepped in and I felt his presence at the time. I completely felt it but then I discarded it like I imagined it and it wasn't real you know it's only until now that I've had all these experiences that I think oh it was real you know <laughs> and I just dismissed it like it wasn't but for many of us what holds them at a distance is us it's our beliefs firstly it's our beliefs that they don't exist right that there is nothing on the other side that this is the only life and when you're done that's it right finished uh, there is nothing else on the other side, like, you know, outside of this dimension, outside of this lifetime. There's, that's it. What you see with your physical eyes is all that exists, right? That's what some people believe. And that belief is what keeps them at a distance, that they can't communicate with you. Because we have what's called free will. And if you want to believe that they don't exist, if that is your choice, you choose to believe that there aren't beings on the other side that are more than happy to guide you, to be with you, to assist you. They can't step in. The only way they can step in, it's not so much for you to say, oh, I believe in them now. You don't need to have a belief one way or the other, right? But you need to ask. Ask for assistance. Ask for something to be shown. Ask. When you ask, it opens up that door for them to start peeking through and going, can I come in now? You know, if you are of the mind that, oh, you have to do it all yourself, you know, <laughs> and, oh, um, you know, of that idea, then you're never going to let them in, right? Some, I don't know why here on earth we seem to have this obsession with, we have to do it all ourselves. We have to be independent. We can't depend on someone else. <laughs> all these thoughts, right? Day in and day out that for some reason, if we're independent and we do it all ourselves, what? We are strong? We are what? Do you know what I mean? It's like <laughs> we were never meant to do anything on our own or be alone or do it. You know, there's this whole mentality of independence, you know? Um, when I was little, I was super independent. I used to do everything on my own. You know, I couldn't rely on mum and dad to help me with schoolwork because they didn't have the knowledge to help me with it. I had to do everything on my own. And it was hard work, you know? It wasn't <laughs> joyful. Yay, I'm doing it all on my own. Look at me, beat my chest. Yay, I'm wonderful, right? Because I can do it all on my own. <laughs> so... I've had so many experiences since I started writing the book and uh, in the last couple of years from when I started Reiki where I've been shown time and time again that these beautiful beings on the other side in this other dimension just beyond the veil of this dimension have been with me the whole time, the whole time. Every moment that I thought I was all alone or so alone or all the rest of it they were always there, but they couldn't appear to me. They couldn't show themselves. They can't reveal themselves because the whole time I didn't believe they existed. I thought I had to do it all on my own. That somehow doing it all on your own is better. <laughs> you know, these last two books, The Easy Mind, Easy Life and the new one that I've created that's called uh, When Love Leaves. Um, I actually got to do a lot of it with my daughter. You know, we created the covers together. I would always ask her, we'd sit together and I'd ask her for opinions. What do you think? What do you think? And then I'd close my eyes and I'd, I'd, I'd close my eyes and I'd ask, you know, my guidance team, what do you think? What do you think? Do I need to change this, that? Well, give me ideas of, you know, what, how you want it to look. You know, what do you want for, what do you want? You know, it's your book. I was saying to the angels, you're the ones that want this information out there for other people, you know, to know that you exist. So what do you want me to write about? Or how do you want it to look? Or how do you... So the whole time I felt like we were collaborating, you know. <laughs> it just felt really joyous. 
um, because the very first book I felt like it was just me and it felt like hard work that took me a whole year to get that book out you know whereas all the others have taken a few months you know and then they're done that's it the information is there so there's this um, misconception that we are here to do it all on our own that we have to be independent that we mm, I don't know there's a notion that we are stronger if we do it on our own or this, this disconnected feeling of having to do it on your own um, you know we when you think of it we are energy right we are energy and everything and everyone on this planet is made of the same energy right everything without exception everything that exists is made up of this beautiful energy and it's the same energy that gives you your breath in every moment in case you don't know what that energy is right now through Reiki I've seen hundreds of these beautiful energies inside people I know it exists I've seen them and I feel them which is even more beautiful you know when I'm in that state and I'm observing these beautiful energies I get to feel what they feel like you know inside in my heart and they're just glorious you know when a person has nothing unresolved and uh, is at peace you know in their life they're, they're good they have a good flow and the energy is flowing beautifully inside uh, it's just such a wonderful feeling you know so we are this energy and everything and everyone is this energy so the way I see it now is that everything that is showing up in your life every person that shows up in your life is serving you it is that energy serving you somehow so think about it okay there's a person in your life that's really annoying you just take an example right uh, and then you have to stop and think well why is this person annoying me what is it about them that is annoying me right you have to stop to think about that because that person to you is a blessing there's a reason that person is in your life the beautiful energy in them is in your life to help you resolve something within your energy everything is in your life for a reason everything down to the very last little thing that you think is insignificant it is there for you for your spiritual evolution for you to grow everything so don't dismiss anything because if you're seeing it if you're hearing it if you're looking at it if you're getting triggered by it even more so anything that triggers you triggers are things that make you angry things that make you afraid scared things that make you sad intense sadness things like that they're triggers and these things are showing up in your life for a reason that person is blessing you they're giving you an opportunity instead of going off at them or getting upset at them that they're the problem they're giving you an opportunity to actually look at why why am I getting upset why am I getting angry why is this bothering me and in the next video I'm going to share exactly that with you there was something that came up just the last few days that really bothered me and I want to talk about that just to give you an example of how this all works right so we are not alone and we're not meant to be doing it alone so for those of you that think oh you know there's any credit or merit in oh I've done it all myself <laughs> you know I'm so independent I'm so strong uh, yeah that doesn't mean anything you know um, there's probably something in you that needs to be resolved that you feel that you are this disconnected that you have to do it all on your own that you don't feel a connection to everything and everyone that everything around you is assisting you on your journey it's all there for you have you ever stopped to think about that so if you're feeling that you need to be independent if you're feeling that you need to do things on your own really I was one of them I know what I'm talking about even I say it to you it's not like I'm talking to you now what I, I was one of them I was one of these people that I had to do it because if I didn't do it it wasn't done properly but I had that mentality and I got that from my mum right if things were going to be done properly I had to do it myself right 
And I was like that all through school. I hated doing projects, right? Where you had to work with other people to get something done. I hated that because I always knew that we're never going to be up to my standards of perfection, of getting it done exactly how I wanted it to be done. Um, and there's lessons in that, you know? There's lessons in that of why we can't work with others, of why we need to feel like we have to do it all ourselves, you know? That was me, and I've resolved that. I don't have a problem now with doing things with others and working things out and uh, getting the assistance I need, whether it's from my angels, whether it's from my daughter, whether it's from wherever it needs to come. I allow it in, and I accept it, and I thank it for being there, you know? Thank you, you know, for making my life so much easier. <laughs> I thank you. So that's my attitude now. Anything that comes that assists, that makes things easier for me, it's more than welcome. All right, my darlings. I love you guys. Remember to click like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the messages. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.